What's up guys and girls who love StarCraft? Today I'm going to show you how to play StarCraft in a window without a disc. Now I know I have a video on how to play StarCraft without a disc. But for that you needed to have the disc to install the data files like the campaigns and the music in the game to play it without the disc. For this you only need to have the game installed and you, you don't need a disc ever again. But the downside is you won't get any of the campaigns and you won't get any in-game music. But you can still play online and you get to play in a window. So hurry. Right. All you need is XMod. Link in the description. It's a RAR file, so you need WinRAR to open it. I have a tutorial on how to get and use RAR, WinRAR. Check that in the description. Here. In the um, download, open up with RAR, WinRAR, and in there we see a SCWM file folder. Open a folder and you have all these files here. You only need everything but xmod dot xmod underscore info. That's just for your information if you need to check. So everything else you'll be getting, all these over here. Now all you have to do is extract these files to your StarCraft directory. Get there by going to start, my computer, local disk C or wherever Windows is installed. Go to program files, then go to StarCraft. Now all you need to do is select the files in WinRAR and drag and drop them into the StarCraft directory. We're almost there. So close WinRAR now. Go to the SC loader 2b.exe. Right click and hold. Drag it to the desktop. Let go and choose create shortcut here. You can use this shortcut to launch StarCraft in a window, but we're not done yet. We need to add a bootstrap to the shortcut. So all you need to do is right click the shortcut, go to properties, and right here where it says target, now you put, you put one space after the target, after the quotations. The target is the directory for the exe where it launches from. Then we put this in the, for the bootstrap right over here dash xmod space w dot xmod now I'll have this in the description don't need to squint at the video and then press OK and that's it now you can launch StarCraft in a window just double click this shortcut right here that we just created yay that's quick StarCraft's in a window great now you can play online on VNet and you can play on green or Tongle and uh, but you can't play campaign if you try to play campaign nothing happens and uh, you still get all the custom maps that come with starcraft you can still use the map editor without the disc but if you still want to play campaign in the window you would just use the disc or you could watch my first tutorial on how to load install the data files for the campaign you don't get any in-game music but you get all these cool options right here for the window you have this one to lock your cursor into the window so you can navigate with your mouse. See? No leaving the window. To leave the window, hit Alt Tab. Okay. Now I could leave the window. But if I uh, if this is green and as soon as I go back into the window, I'll be locked in again. So I uncheck this so I won't be locked in again. You can hit this one to make the twice the original size. Now I don't suggest this for some slow computers or older computers, because it lags a lot, even though it's just StarCraft. So we just leave it at small. And then you could hit this little arrow up button to keep it on top of all your windows without any of them overlapping. Without them getting on top of your StarCraft game. Yay. And hit this closing. Okay, now if you're running in Windows 7 or Vista or XP with the theme of Vista, you would still turn your uh, desktop into 8-bit mode make everything all colorful like a rainbow and in game and in the menus it would still be colorful but in the game it won't be colorful only the water would be colorful and lava. okay that's it for now and I will, I will soon be making a video on how to play StarCraft online using Garena thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask